Hey, did you know that abortions are reversible? Yeah, that's because they're not. That's why you didn't know that. The closest thing we have to abortion reversal is fuck again. But that doesn't stop a bunch of unethical, ideological driven clinics from offering that exact service, the abortion reversing, not the fucking again. So to be clear here, we're not talking about sewing the fetus back up six million dollar man style and sticking it back in there. As you know, if you listen regularly, medicinal abortions in this country generally come from a combination of two medicines, mifepristone and misoprostol. The claim from these clinics is that if you take the first pill, then change your mind, you can take a shot or pill of progesterone, and that will reverse the effects of the mifepristone, allowing you to abort the abortion in its second trimester. Now, to be clear, there is almost no research at all backing up this claim. There's one case study of six entire pregnant people who took mifepristone and then progesterone. Four of them carried pregnancies to term. That's pretty much the end of the positive studies. And to be clear, that's not because nobody has followed up on it. It's because when they've tried, it's proven too dangerous. As you can imagine, getting half an abortion can have some very negative consequences. When they tried to do the first randomized clinical study of this back in 2019, they had to stop midway through after three different participants had to be hospitalized for severe vaginal bleeding. So yeah, fucking terrifying that people are able to sell this dangerous, unproven medical procedure, right? Well, Democratic lawmakers in Colorado tried to put a stop to it by passing a law that would have officially dubbed offering abortion pill reversals as unprofessional conduct, which would allow medical review boards to discipline doctors who did it on a case-by-case basis, which seems like a pretty low-grade solution to a pretty high-grade problem, but it's still progress. Or rather, it would have been if it hadn't been for the fact that one such clinic, a place called Bella Health and Wellness, sued the state. Their complaint? That the new act violated their right to free speech. That speech, of course, being the ability to lie to people about the efficacy of a dangerous medical procedure. Well, you already know how this ends because you know how damn many judges Trump appointed to the bench in his tenure. That's right. A judge agreed with this horseshit claim. And as of now... Bella is still allowed to lie to their patients. In the same decision, that same judge struck down the part of the law that would empower the state's consumer protections agencies to punish clinics like Bella for advertising the fact that they offered emergency contraception and abortion services when they didn't, which is a thing these clinics do constantly. Now, this is an injunction, not a decision, but the injunction is so broad and baseless that I think it all but tips the judge's hand in terms of ultimate outcome which is all the more fucked up when you consider how little these very same crusaders care about free speech when it works against them. To wit, despite the glaring lack of evidence that this shit works, there are more than 12 states that have passed laws forcing doctors to tell their patients abortions are reversible, which they aren't. So they're fighting to protect the right to force doctors to lie about the efficacy of a dangerous, ineffective procedure in the name of free fucking speech. So, yeah, thanks to Alan, who was the first who sent us the story at scathingnews at gmail.com. And thanks to George Orwell and Margaret Atwood for doing all they could to warn us. And with that, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah, Heath and Eli.